so far on Balance and Bias. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm going to be on it. Now, if I was racist, now, now, would I have done that? Now, 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 now. Put a ring on it, player. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm starting to get auditions quite often. Audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. How about if I get the time, I want to stand like that here. It's not going to be in here, freak. I just told you that. And he can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, I liked it better like that. So we rehearsed it a few times. And now we're going to try to do our very best. I mean, that's, that's what we're... You know, that's what we're here to, to do. But definitely gonna be open to hear Maria's feedback. So, about to let it rip. Can you see the reflection on my baldy? Can you see the light shining on my baldy? You really laugh? That's Maria, guys. She is awesome, right? She's the one who always helps me out. She is the blessing. Maria, you ain't gonna say hi? I said hello. Oh, you did? <laughs> she said hello. Uh, Patrick's awesome. He's super talented. Undiscovered star. Yeah. I hope he remembers me when he's famous. Maria, what's fame? <laughs> when you're famous. Oh, we're gonna be famous together. That's right. I already made that deal with Renata, too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I hope Maria, you know every, every big role or any audition, you know who I'm going to come to. <laughs> we're going to be on set with each other. You're going to be right there. I'm going to say, you Patrick, my trailer's too small. <laughs> <laughs> you need to clear this up right now. <laughs> Maria's going to be the quarterback. She's calling all the shots. Maybe if I stay here. Yeah. On the left corner. That way you can see it's from whatever side. Yeah, all because because of the blocking with the end. Like, I, I don't think here would be make sense because... If you gotta come around and I stand, like it's just gonna be an awkward exchange on the stage. You gotta, you gotta understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. yeah. This woman, Letitia, this is her husband. I don't remember your character's name. Lawrence. Lawrence. And he is on death row. They have a son. He's maybe 10? I don't know. 11. 11. And she has brought, he is about to be executed. This is the last time she's coming to see him. What do you want from her in this scene, Pat? I want her to, to forgive me. Why? That's right, but why? Because I had done her so, so bad. Yeah. And this is also your last chance. Right. You're never gonna see her again. So I got the fact that you wanted her to forgive you and that you were playing that to get your forgiveness as the scene objective. And I loved the moment when you went off stage and you're still yelling it. But I didn't get enough. The stakes did not feel high enough for me during the scene. So we'll work on that. Renetta, what do you want from him? Well... I think I'm changing what I want right as we speak, but I was playing for him to take responsibility for everything that he's done to me. That's fair. And to, like, yeah, like, take responsibility for your bullshit, make me feel better. That's what will make me feel better. Ultimately, it is to make me feel better, but what will make me feel better is you taking responsibility for the bull, like, for every, for this. Nobody's gonna see this. We're gonna tear it up and throw it away. What is she not understanding? You're ready to start the scene.
good today. No, it's look good. How's it called? Sleek and radiated fluid. You need to go ahead and get that thing checked out. Have them check the radio hose, radiator holes. The car mess up, then you're gonna be in trouble. Owls. They're using it. Can't afford to make it famous no more. Not no more. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I just came here so that you could say goodbye to your son, okay? I know. Years, Lawrence. I'm tired. I'm tired of coming here. Tom, come on, man, so sore. Got those some hand sanitizer. Your hands ain't dirty. Huh? Your hands are not dirty. Uh, well, when I see it, I got you. It's just a thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whenever I see it, I use it. <laughs> so. so, how'd you feel? Uh, what do you make before I have to do it? I mean, everything. Um, I felt good. Um, you know, that's why I love class because you get to explore things that you don't think about or you always get to take it up another notch. You know, and it's always strengthening you and making you better and making you stronger. So, I don't know. I, I definitely connected immediately with, <laughs> you know, my emotional baggage. And um, I was just happy I was able to use it. I thought I did. I thought Renetta did a great job. I hope I did a good job. And I feel like Maria, she actually, like, taught us something. She taught me something, um, you know, to raise the stakes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I felt like I needed to bring a little bit more confidence into the scene. So, you know, I'm going to look at it later on, and hopefully it'll be good. It look good. If it's look not good. good, then, you know, there's another day, and I can always learn something. That's life, right? Yep. What did you think? Learn. What did you, you think of the scene? No, I'm not going up today. Yep. My scene partner's not feeling well. Oh yeah. But uh, the scene was the scene was strong. Both both Thank both you. of you. Thank you. Really strong. Thank you. I love the movie, and you brought it to life. Thank you. Big shoes to fill. I I. I well, at the end of the day, we're gonna get a yell at. Come I on, man. Gotta get back to class. No, no. Please <laughs> watch some of our previous videos. Also, like, share and subscribe.